Hello everybody, this is Mr. Cool Gamer signing in to say welcome back. So I should click on the, the well, the screen so you can actually hear the audio. I do like this type of music, it is good. So, Arctic can say we're good to go, thanks, but we should know more about our setting. And yeah, we've been two episodes without figuring out what the hell our setting is. So, let's figure out, are you our employer? Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. Okay. Tell us about the Principality. What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? We don't exactly have the time. Anyway, the Principality of Mazgar is ruled by Princess Kaiwood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Kaer Kiflin, which was once part of the ancient Manakalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent elvish buildings up there in the high tower. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths of Celasta are represented here. Though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. Now, tell us about the Legacy Council brain. We hear this is a mission for the Council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know? I'll try to make it simple, but you know, politics? The Council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. Find out about the Eastern Kingdoms. Which countries make up these Eastern Kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Mazgarth, here, is in the middle. The Snow Alliance lies to the north. The Kingdom of Galavan to the east, and the New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less, but the peace is fragile. That doesn't sound good, but then again, this is a D&D &D setting, so war's bound to break out eventually. What are the organizations you mentioned? The Council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. What are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the elven empire called Manakalan. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches, and dangers. All right. I no, think no. we know enough now. Thank you. And Artix will end this conversation. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. The story of my life. Bunny way to in uh, Care Kiplin. The principality is the captain in the large city. Right now, you need to find the Legacy Council. Once you've been there, you'll have access to fast travel function. But for now, you have to walk a little. Go north, yada yada yada, understood. We can go other places, but it is generally considered we need to find our way around the general route of this town before we go do anything else. However, we will be going out a little this bit. This place is magnificent. It is. I will agree with Artix on this one. It is quite magnificent. Alright. Now, there are generally areas and places we will be spending most of our gone. time. Actually, I lie. This this zone is currently, and I say currently because I'm not sure how they'll expand in the full release in come May. I never thought I'd get so close to the embassies. But you know, it's currently compact, but got all the things you need. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? That's not overall. There's an oath keeper for that, I think. 
You thought it would be the princess? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Pot down. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that, always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I, I swear. swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? You're expecting prayer? Were you hoping for a kiss from the princess? No, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the principality and the marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Let's find out about Henrik. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer. More than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty and courage. Hence, the decision to post him there, facing danger. You spoke of the marches. Wait. These marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. Sounds dangerous. The whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk, if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So, gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. Right, I guess that's that, eh? It's on to Care Lem. Faction relations, you know, the lower the prices, better the faction relationship. I will point out that you can't, as the game will point out, you can't quite please everyone. It is just a general rule of life that you can't really, you know, do so. However, we currently do need to level up, as seen in our small arrows and our portraits. As such, we have to do what every D and D uh, campaign does when you want to level up: have a long rest. Long rest can either be done, as I said, by the fires, or in a tavern for ten gold. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? First off, your your beer tastes terrible. Your beer is terrible, and that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. All right, we need a room. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. And as such, we level up. Artix Krieger is now a level 2 Paladin. We have Divine Smite, which, you know, deals an extra 2d8 Radiant Damage upon a hit, plus a 1d8 uh, per spell slot buff, and also an extra d8 when hitting Undead or Fiends. I haven't encountered many Fiends in this game, so that's going to be a situation. 
However, we do get a fighting style and our paladin spellcasting ability. For fighting style, I'm going to go with defense. I want Artix's AC to be so high that he doesn't get hit, because he is our backup healer after all. Prepared spells. We're going to have generally this loadout, actually. It's pretty good loadout. Bless, Cure Wounds, Divine Favor, and Heroism. Again, Artix's high charisma just helps. Brain. Get some more fail cell spell slots. We get a channel divinity to use between the rest, turn undead, and preserve life. Restore hit points at five times the cardiac level uh, to one or more allies within six cells and up to half the hit, hit point maximum. Generally not very useful at some points. It really does, like, it's a clincher, but it's also... <laughs> fighting style. We have uh, Ryzen. Gets her, her fighting style. Range of spell casting ability. Which, oh gods, we're going to be having that first thing in the fight. Fighting style. Hmm. Now, I could have her go for defense, but I want her as an archer. You gain plus two bonus to attack rolls with ranged weapons. Honestly, with our high decks and just, you know, having her rely on bows and arrows, be useful. She can, t uh, you know, fight well with two weapons later, but right now, archery is probably king. Spells. Oh, for the love of gods, if you're not an idiot, pick up Goodberry. The spell just is necessary. Uh, create 10 berries for that last 24 hours and restore hit point each. If you don't have a paladin, this is essentially paladin hood on, you know, discount. But it's essentially useful. Uh, they did clarify it disappears after a long rest, but mm, details. However, the good berries do have the good per perk of the Axe's rations, so we don't actually have to spend a lot of money. And at level 2, and at the very beginning of the game, big, big cost saver and weight saver as well. Because weight is a thing in this game. Hunter's Mark, definitely, it's just going to be required. A Ranger without Hunter's Mark is not going to last long. We have, uh, going back to Brain, because I forgot to do his spells, we have Cure Wounds, Bless, Bane, Guiding Bolt, Inflict Wounds, Healing Word, and Shield of Faith. Tech Good and Evil and Detect Magic aren't going to be quite necessary, because A, we have uh, Marek with Detect Magic and Ritual, so yeah. Brain's pretty much just going to be our heal bitch, I'm afraid. Marek, gain a specialization with a certain type of magic. Plus we get more spell slots, and arcane recovery. I'm going to go with Lawmaster, advantage on arcana history and investigation ability checks, advantage on cop copy spell scrolls into your and potion crafting. Uh, yeah, pretty much just necessary. It is, is ne well not necessary, shock arcana is basically if you just want to blast things with fires uh, with spells, and green mage is, hey I kind of want to be a battle mage, really. But I want Glore Master. It just fits well with the type of fighting style we're going to be well, going for. Now we have two new spells to memorize. Sleep is useful, but I've never really found a use for it. Featherfall, also useful, but again, not particularly. However, Comprehend Language and Charm Person, bloody useful spells. Spells to prepare. We've gotten rid of the... well, that magic is just going to be always necessary. And close. The game is telling us to buy some supplies for our journey. It's also just telling us to introduce ourselves to the shopkeepers. Fortunately, it is also 8pm in the game, not in real life. In real life, it's getting to the point, however, where I am going to need to stop the recording session for a little bit, because... I have other commitments. For some bloody reason, the pathfinding has to just go that way. I don't know what caused that. It might be a bug that needs to be fixed. Crafting tutorial. In Solster, you can craft various items to do so you need the proper equipment, ingredients, skill, and time. For magical items, sometimes you need to know spells. Crafting is performed while traveling once your party is set up camp, but not, but is not yet asleep. Cats can devote uh, some of their free time to working on their current crafting task. Essentially, bloody, bloody useful. Potions, herbalism kit, scrolls, scroll kit, poisons, poisons kit, enchanted weapons and armor. And armor. Uh, mana Callan Rosary. You need to be proficient with these tools to use them. Crafting skills. Again, it just tells us what we need. And we can get the recipes and ingredients and in the shops. Basically, we can talk these recipes, but this 
isn't exactly what we need right now. Hello, how may I help you? What do you sell? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like yourselves. I also have recipes for customers who like to craft their own. And ingredients too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back anytime. I'm almost always open. Can you see the wares? Currently, a lot of uh, stuff is just way too rich for our blood. Like, properly too rich for our blood. I think our blood has actually uh, goes for cheaper on this, in this place. A pearl. We kind of need that for an ingredient. It, it's just necessary. So, what else can we get? We got herbalism kit, scroll kit, spell book, which we need. Do not sell this under any circumstances. Dear gods, this is basically your wizard's lifeline. If you lose that, for whatever reason, you're going to have to buy a new one and that shit ain't, you know, that shit ain't cheap. Ah, oh, we don't have enough for a mana cone and rosary. That's actually disappointing. Uh, but then again, we will be getting a fair amount of money after this quest. So, yeah, if we've got enough supplies for now. I'm going to have to say, yeah, nothing here that we need. Here, however, we do need to buy some food for the journey. It will not let us progress with the quest until we buy four things of food. Food is cost two gold and is bloody useful. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Are you Gorim? Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only. What do you sell? What do you have to sell? Everything you'll need for going out there into the Badlands. Food, ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? Can we see your words? Well, she says she sells everything, but not quite. She doesn't sell shields for whatever god's damn reason. But anyway, we only need four food. We've got a ranger in our party with the freaking spell, you know, Goodberry. We are good. There is one last person we need to check on, but I think I'll save that for next time because I am being hounded off screen. So, this is Mr. Gorgamer signing out to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and next time, we'll be going to check out the one last shop and the most important friend we're ever going to have in this game, and the most important mechanic. See you guys next time. Ciao.